Hello, I'm Alex, and today I'll be showcasing Beaconix, an infrastructure service on Multiverse X that allows you easy access to real-time blockchain data. We'll discover together how Beaconix Events Notifier works, what are some of its use cases, how we can create and manage our subscriptions, and we'll also integrate Beaconix in an SGS application. Through Events Notifier, we capture block events from our observer nodes and forward them to your application through Rabbit and QQ. Now you might be wondering, why would I use that instead of an API? Well, Events Notifier enables you to receive blockchain events within milliseconds of their execution, ensuring minimal delay and opening the door to multiple applications. Now, just to give you a couple of examples, you could ensure that your DA provides the best user experience by being always aware of the blockchain state. You could also build real-time analytics and monitoring tools. Or, in the realm of DeFi, you could build things like arbitrage bots, liquidation bots, or live swap trackers. Next up, we'll jump into the DeepNet version of BeaconX to showcase how we could create a subscription. First, I have to connect with my wallet. For that, I will use Multiverse 6 web wallet. Now that I'm connected, I can see that I have not yet created any subscriptions. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Now I can select the duration of the subscription. I'll go for 120 epochs. And now I'll be prompted to sign two transactions. As you can see, the first one is for wrapping the EGLD. And the second one is the actual contract call, which uh, means my NFT subscription. So the, the transaction is successful. And as you can see here, I have received this NFT, which actually represents my uh, own queue. And so the queue is now active and receiving events. Uh, we can check out the insights tab to make sure that the service is functional. So now in this tab, we have connection details. I have everything I need except my password because uh, upon queue creation, we generate a random password that uh, we we'll then have to reset in order to gain access to the queue. So I'll have to type here the name of the QO. Once I've done that, I can see my uh, newly generated password, which uh, will only be accessible, or will only be visible now, and I'll have to save it in a safe space. Next up, let's jump into the code and see how we could implement device notifier into our application. So I've put together this really simple NestJS application to showcase how we could connect to the events notifier queue. So we have this .m file where we need to fill out the connection string. The port. And the queue name. Now we can check check out the events notifier consumer service, where we, we utilize the volleyball app library in order to ensure connection to the Rabbit and Cube queue. We only have to specify the queue name and the property create queue if not exist should remain false. Now, on every block that gets published to blockchain, we'll receive this object, notifier block event, which contains the hash of the block and the actual events that get published with it. I'll start the application to see this in action. So as you can see, first of all, we consumed all the events from the uh, from the queue, and now we're starting we're starting to receive new events in real time. 
this is basically it. This is how easy it is to actually integrate events notified in your service. And uh, next up, let's take a look at the documentation. In our documentation, we provide a wide range of tutorials covering all the steps you need to take in order to create a subscription, manage your subscription, monitor your queue, or consume events. Here we also got uh, two additional tutorials for JavaScript and uh, Java. And on top of that, we also provided a full working tutorial on monitoring X exchange swaps. So this basically, if you follow the steps from, from here, you will have a working application that is aware of all the swaps on X exchange. So next up, if you guys would like to try out our mainnet version, you could contact us and uh, we'll be happy to offer you a free one month subscription. If there's any feedback that you'd like to share with us, or maybe any additional questions that you have, please don't hesitate to contact us on Telegram and Twitter. And uh, I really hope that BeaconX can help you in building a great project for XD Hackathon.